It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, we have two bottles in front of us. What do we have? We have Bardstown Bourbon Company Fusion Batch 3 and Discovery Series Batch 3. Batch three. Yeah. So batch three. this is the first review of Fusion that we will be doing. We did try Fusion batch one when it first came out, um, but the Bardstown Bourbon Company batch one went into our best of 2019. Yes. Uh, and fared very well. I do enjoy the Discovery <laughs> series. So I'm excited to see batch three. And yeah. I'm like, I don't know what's with the color change, why we decided to go from green to maroon, but I'll, I'll accept. Yeah, you like? I mean, I like the green bottles, but I feel like whenever I see green, I think rye. So the Fusion is a 98.9 proof. It is a blend of 40% Kentucky bourbon, aged 13 years, 74% corn, 18% rye, 8% malted barley. Also has 18% of Barstown Bourbon Company three-year-old bourbon. That's a 68% corn, 20% wheat, and 12% malted barley. And lastly, 42% of Bardstown Bourbon Company, another three year, but this one is a 60% corn, 36% rye, and 4% malted barley mash bill. I have to say, I'm impressed that it's almost equal parts of the their three year old and that 13 year old Kentucky bourbon. And it's gonna keep going that way until it actually probably shifts more towards their actual sure. stuff. I think that's the idea yeah. is, is, is to do that. And we have had um, their, their mattress that's around three years old. And I yeah. have to say it's very impressive. Yeah, so three years of Barstown Bourbon Company is saying something because we've had stuff that's two years and we were like, this is better than some four, four to six years, years mm -hmm. that we've had. Yeah. It's really good. Uh, okay, Discovery Series is a blend of 45% Indiana 13 year, that's 75 corn, 21 rye, 4% malted barley, 32% of a Kentucky 13 year old, 74 corn, 18 rye, and 8% malted barley, and 23% of another Kentucky 10 year old, 75 corn, 13 rye, 12% malted barley. And pause for cork pop. Do you want to try to do some simultaneous oh, okay. three, two, one pop? On, on one, on go. On three, two, one, and then and we then pop. pop is yes. go. Yes, pop, okay. pop. Um, three, okay. two, one. It's not gonna work. This one, do, it doesn't, <laughs> it's, you try, it does not. You loosened it. We will have the uh, Discovery in the Drink More Bourbon, Glen Karen. We will have the is Fusion in the It's Bourbonite, Glen Karen. We can share, because we're married. So 13 year, but this one also has a 13 year. Uh, $130 typically. $50, typically. Got some <sighs> Granny Smith apple and cinnamon. Tell you what, let's Crisp eva evaluate oh. the fusion. Yeah, let's do both. that first. Then we'll jump up to the Discovery. Okay, yeah. Yeah, green apple, like crisp green apple, cinnamon. Yeah, very light. I concur, <laughs> <laughs> but also- But add to that, Chad. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of a cola note. Hmm. And, a little bit of honey, a little bit of light, light honey. It smells good. Oh, I kind of see the cola. I have wow. a theory. You have a theory. Okay, lay it on I'm not going to tell you. All right. Well, it doesn't say where in Kentucky they got their 13-year-old from. Of course, we're not reading into the, the mash, mash bills, bills. No. Um, which we could. <laughs> there is something in there that is reminiscent of Brown Foreman to me. Ah. Now I'm not saying that's it. I'm just saying that was the first thing that came to my mind. Yeah. I'm sure with a little bit of science, a little bit of research um, and effort put into analyzing that mash bill of that 13 year old, you could narrow it down. If only we could keep things like that up here in the old brain box. But I don't have enough room and this stuff makes it all go away. So I, I, I kind of get a little cola on the palate. Now the finish, it's going more into some deeper like milk chocolate mm -hmm. type of notes. But I get like a toasty chocolatey, almost a fruit mm. element that remind, it's the fruit element. It's almost like a muddled orange peels and cherries and toasted marshmallows and chocolatey. I will say, I mean, the 98.9 proof giving a nice, you know, a really easy approachable balance of heat and flavor. I'm liking all the flavors. I for 50, for 50 bucks. bucks. Yeah, let me take another sip. People will be like, but but why should I get this instead of Rare Breed? Um, sure. 
I know. Because it tastes different than it's rare breed. It tastes different. And, it's something different. Branch out. And new. Yeah. Um, no, I still like that cola. But there is sort of like a um, little bit of a desserty banana uh, note. I mean, this is a four grain. So one of their Barstown Bourbon Company mash bills is weeded. The other one is very high rye, thirty-six percent rye, which is one of the, you know one of the highest that you can get, and still be a, a a bourbon. I like it though. It's really good. It's really good for fifty bucks. I'm into it. I'm into it as well. All right, do you want to see if going a little bit more than double the price is worth it? I do, but before that, I think we should take a little break. I think we should too, because okay. this is the perfect time to tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get this t-shirt that I'm wearing. Get out of here, bottle. This t-shirt right here that I'm wearing, uh, the water glass that uh, we drink out of, our uh, Glencairns coming back in stock soon, our rocks glasses in stock right now, challenge coins, and more always coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. Oh my gosh, I don't think I can be that enthusiastic, but inside I am about patreon.com slash the bourbon night. It's where you can go and become a patron of ours, a supporter for as little as one buck a month. And you can get after the episode exclusive content. It's called Another Round with Chad and Sarah. You can get Drink More Bourbon podcasts, also exclusive to Patreon. Uh, you know, first dibs on merch polls? and polls yeah. and other inside scoops. All that jazz. All that jazz. Okay, cool. Let's dive in to Discovery. All right, let's do Let's it. discover it. 110 proof, uh, so we are jumping up a little bit, but what, around, this was 90... 98.9. Okay. I keep saying that, yeah, 98.9. Just right. double checking myself. I mean, this just smells more viscous. Uh, it smells like it's gonna be richer and, and more compelling. See, I was like, how can it smell more viscous, Chad? And then I nosed it and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> like that, <laughs> like that. Yeah, it smells more like, uh, mm. like molasses and honey in there, there's more of like a, a yeah. spice that's punching through. Like a deep dark cherry and it's also still some chocolatey. Now this mm. is none Spiced. of their distillate. Uh, none, okay. Sourced from uh, one part Indiana, two parts Kentucky. But in fairness, I mean, when we're talking about their distillate being, you know, the three year old that went in here, I think for the price point that this is at, some people might say, oh, but it's not their distillate. Well, but also they, hand selected things that are of an age that would be appropriate for this price point. So like yeah. youngest in this bottle is 10 years, youngest in this bottle is three years. Uh, this is not a four grain. All of these three mash bills are of a rye content, the highest one being the Indiana at uh, 21%. Mm, I like a good rye content. Yeah, so I kind of wish this had some higher rye, but you know, we haven't even tasted it yet. No, the nose is really pleasant it's and perfume. inviting. Yeah, perfumey yeah. is a good word. Oh, I just keep getting new things. Nice brown sugar char. Oh, mm. son. <laughs> wow. That really gets your side cheeks. It just like goes to them. I kind of switched it around maybe a little too much. <sighs> stop it right now. Wow. You. Wow. You stop. That's damn good. Well, well I never. <laughs> I got the vapors. Mm. Whoa. That's weird. I felt that in my, <laughs> I felt that in my back, Sarah. It was a Kentucky hug, but it like moved to my back. It's like in my spine. That's kind of cool. You usually have to pay a lot of money for drugs to do that. Right. Can I, I'm gonna say it. The exceptional mouthfeel. Exceptional mouthfeel. I'm really into that flavor. I think I, did I say sort of molasses on mm -hmm. the nose? It tastes like it. It's got the viscosity of it and it's got that twang. Is that an okay word to say? A, a uh, twist? A twist, and like, you know, molasses or sorghum. It's mm -hmm. got kind of that kind of sharp little twang, I want to call it. You call it that, I don't know. I, I, I get it in this. Um, it's got a really uh, spicy sort of, your typical caramel vanilla, um, you know, mouth, or I'm um, sorry, finish, but it's got We're this- We're all befuddled. Yeah. <laughs> It's got this the spice there, to it. It's a pepper at the end. Yeah. Um, but there's like a really almost like rich, it's finished. Almost. I was about to say that too. It's almost got some wine finished qualities at the front, but it's not. Or um, a few drops of bitters. It's it, it's either like finished or cocktail esque. Yeah. Without without being that at without all. Without being that. Because that's how 
crazy the flavors are. Ooh, that I like wraps the, you up. the pepper note at the end really cuddles you. And pepper sounds like very intense and maybe a little off. And, and we were complaining about the right content before we even took a sip. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's not high it's enough. It's fine. I feel like we're really gushing over this, but. Also, it's very pretty. Dang, it's good. Yeah, almost, and I don't normally like to use this word. I really feel like it's an overused word that's used in Can I guess? Decadent. Yes. Um, I think that when you describe a $3 chocolate bar, or $3, $1.50, I don't know, as decadent, that's not that. Those things don't equal each don't other. Like you can't, no, that's not right. Um, so I, I really feel like that's overused in advertising and so it's made me hate that word because it's supposed to be reserved for experiences like this that feel over the top like luscious i don't know it's it should feel like whoa okay like i am overwhelmed sensory wise by how delicious this is decadent i have a statement also for fanciness i have a prepared statement go that i didn't prepare until after we tasted this okay i'm a little guarded with this because i feel like there's going to be some 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 grief down here there's always grief down there in the comments not usually well sometimes uh, um i haven't had something like this since we did the BTAC episode. Oh, okay. This is, I didn't know. This is of, like, don't you agree? Do you agree? I mean, I think it's like, whoa. It's I'm giddy about it. Of that level, like. But more attainable. Yes, it's not made of unattainium. No, you can actually get this. It's of that, it's, it's like if the best things in BTAC, which spoilers for us, George C. Stagg and William Lou Weller. <gasps> no big surprise. No, you don't say. <laughs> that bar that was set with the 2020, um, this is going up to that bar. It's at that bar, maybe blind? I don't know, we'd have to I do don't a know. blind. We'd have to do a blind, because I can't um, say without having them side by side. It's of that level, though. I would put them in the same category. Real talk, just <gasps> real talk. I can't believe you went there, Chad. Ooh, it hangs around, it hangs around. I mean, I've been hanging around this Bourbon, Down on bourbon, the corner. On the corner. On the table. Okay. I don't want to go back to this one now. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Very good stuff. But it's not It's not this. It's it, not, it can't be. The not. ingredients didn't go into this mm -hmm. the same way. Okay. It's so I, harmonious. I, it tastes I, like it was always meant to be this way. I feel a little dirty. I feel like we've gushed over this too much where people are going to be dirty? like, Too dirty? Ugh, you guys are... Oh, sorry. Uh, um, I can say something bad. Um, the cork on this one was really hard to get out, and I am angry. Yeah. Does that help? Well, sure. <laughs> uh, so before we tasted this, we said, okay, is this going to taste more than double the price? I feel like, yeah, it does. Uh, yeah. I was going to be like, mm, because of how good this one yeah. was. Yeah. Like, mm. it, it set a pretty good bar, but this Did. one is definitely more exceptional. All right. Back to this guy. Back to Fusion. $50. Recommend or not, is it worth the 50 bucks? Yeah. I, I think so. I give it a thumbs up. I think up. it is. $130. Well, I mean. I called it. Said, be tech worthy so i've said all the good things that i can say yeah. so in my opinion i would buy this again for 130 dollars so you you be your own judge maybe if you're at the distillery try right. some uh or now this fun. is this is again batch three batch three we haven't evaluated batch two we have it but we haven't um i'm sure it's probably pretty good but the we one can't that, say the one that we're gushing over on both of these is batch three and you'll know because it's the red one the other two were green yeah plus it's got a three and a three right there so there you go Woohoo! okay cool this is fun um that was fun hey if you haven't subscribed to us we'd love to have you You can click right up here or there's suggestions of other videos right down here we hope to see you over there in one of those thanks sarah thanks chad okay until next time drink more bourbon